the criminal justice system, the people are represented by two separate yet equally I wonder if the groups. characters the are who investigate crime same as the district attorneys who the series because I don't watch the TV series. These are their stories. It's a Telltale game, so it must be good, right? The graphics looks kind of looks like it's an old game. The graphics isn't as good as the other ones, but it's still definitely playable. <clears throat> oh, she's one of those hotel cleaners, I'm guessing. Teresa. Oh shit, dead collie. Oh, ID is on the ground as well. How suspicious. Welcome back to New York, Ray. Ray Curtis from the 27. Homicide. This is my case. Mine too, now. Olivia Benson, SVU. SVU? Yeah, I got a call the victim showed signs of sexual assault. Your lieutenant said you guys were a little short-handed and my <clears> partner <throat> is on leave. So I'm here to assist. Yeah, department cutbacks. Everybody wants more cops, nobody wants to pay more taxes. And now we're down one more taxpayer. Who is she? Name tag says Rachel. Judging from the uniform, she was one of the housekeeping staff. Oh, well, up until a few hours ago. I guess someone didn't like the mint on their pillow. I was housekeeping, not cleaners. We've got cleaners are like janitors, right? Yeah, the house housekeepers. I'm guessing the TV series is like this, I'm guessing. I don't know. Lord of the Legacies. Hola, soy Detectivo Ray Curtis. Soy Teresa Restrepo. Oh shit, it's Spanish. Restrepo. Is that Colombian? Yes, how'd you know? The neighbors across the hall when I was growing up. They made the best patacones. I get hungry just remembering. I need to ask you a few questions. You okay to talk? Yes. Believe it or not, I've seen worse. Okay. <clears throat> Let's start with an easy one. Can you tell me the victim's name? Maybe. I... It's, it's hard to remember. So many girls working here. Everybody always coming and going. I just learned to read the name tags like everyone else. Well, could you try for me? Sure, you got my size. Uh, let's see. Um, it wasn't Latina. It was. Uh, ah, it was Rachel, I think. How does she know so well? Do you believe her? <sighs> she said. She said you know, so many things. She wasn't. You know, how does she, you know, instantly find out it was Rachel? I I looked at but I'm looking at body language. I'm not really good at these sort of things. Did you guys believe her? I I don't know. I mean, say no. Not because she's nothing to do with her race or gender. It's just what she says. She said that on the basis of she couldn't remember. She goes by the name of the, of the tags. I don't know if she looked at the tag or not. I can't remember if there was a tag on her or not. I know there was a driver's license there, but she didn't even mention about a driver's license or an ID card or whatever. No. Oh shit! Okay. <laughs> I'm so I'm so you know, this is this is the thing about me. I don't trust people many people in real life. I'm you know, not many people are trust deemed trustworthy for me, so uh, yeah, okay, I fucked up. Her statement confirms the name tag Detective Benson found on the body. So we know Teresa tells the truth. You must remember evidence and testimonies to help you what could you click on things to check or I don't remember seeing the name tag. If you need to to you may consult the transcript before you make a decision. I can well. Oh. Thanks, Teresa. Well, we fucked up. <laughs> new topics can unlock as you get a witness to talk more and they review new information. Classic pack. Fucking shit up. Even on the first on the get go. First thing. Talk topics. Uh, weather, suspicious people, or work history. Do we need to talk about the weather? That's a small talk. Uh, normally you ask sus any suspicious, suspicious people, I guess. And then you might talk of, want to go into the work history. The way she says things like, it seems like this company or this hotel has a high turnover. Not turnover, turn, turnover rate. Like, no, people turnover. Staff turnover. Sorry, staff turnover, that's it. Calm in English. See anyone suspicious hanging around lately? Yeah, the hotel is full of them. Lots of old businessmen always staring at you. Ugh. Okay, 
How about anyone especially interested in Rachel? No, I, I don't think so. She didn't even have a boyfriend. Rachel didn't even have a boyfriend statement like these will come in handy later. They are recorded in the transcript so you can refer to them later. Okay. Where is this so called transcript? So you said that it should be here, yeah. Okay. This weather thing was a fossil escom some sort of thing. Let's talk about so crazy the weather. weather lately. It's just small talk. Yeah. The kids they <coughs> just want to spend all day at the pool. What's this got to do with the murder? Nothing. Just talking. Not all topics are important. Some are red herrings or misleading clues. They may be interesting, but they won't help you solve the case. It's like a different topic to learn something more relevant. Yeah. We should get back to the victim. It's better. I had a feeling that was just small talk. How long has she worked here? No say. Um, she was pretty new. Started last month, maybe? She have any trouble with anyone? Trouble? No, not her. She was nice, you know? Quiet, polite. Actually, no, never mind. Oh, what were you gonna say? Well, <coughs> she just never really seemed like one of us, you know? Like, like she had something else going on. Always watching everything and, oh, and tapping on her phone. Era una adicción. You talk about a revealed phone. You say she liked to use her phone. For what? You think she was earning a little extra money? <laughs> what, like John's? Are you asking, did I think she was a whore detective? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. But uh, who knows? It would explain a lot. Anything else about the phone? She was always texting. Always. She also did some weird stuff. Must she be a took teenager. Pictures Kappa. of the rooms and, and even some guests. For a while, I actually thought she might be a cop. Where would the phone be now? Probably nearby. She always kept it close. One last thing, Teresa. It would help us if we knew the last place Rachel might have been. Do you know which room she would have been cleaning? That's the weird thing. Today was her day off. She shouldn't even be here. Wow. So what was she doing all dressed up for work? <clears throat> You're the detective. You figured it out, Guapo. Good job, first interview complete. Because you can't use control belt. Stars, two A's, bonus stars, lifetime total stars, red herring found one, try again for a better school. school. Mm, nah, <laughs> that's gonna drag on, right? Who cares? Hey Benson, what you got? I'm seeing a lateral bruise across her throat, not finger marks, more like a pipe or a cane. No sign of a murder weapon? Guess we better start looking. While you were busy being charming, I wrote down a couple of things to keep an eye out for. Her, her ID, her purse, her day planner or notepad, and of course any DNA evidence from her attacker. Might be under her fingernails. And her cell phone. Teresa mentioned that might be important. Hmm. Okay. Uh, this is the evidence screen. It reminds you which pieces of evidence you are looking for in a scene. One once a piece of evidence is found, click on the icon for a more detailed description. Okay. <clears throat> Cell phone, DNA, notebooks, victim's ID. Okay. <clears throat> you can end the ev you can return to the evidence screen by clicking the search icon. Select around on the side of the screen to move around the crime scene. Select the right arrow to get a better view of the maid's car. Oh, okay. Okay. If you see something you want to investigate, draw a circle around it with your mouse. Okay. Try drawing a circle around a. Try drawing a circle on the screen. A valid circle is highlighted in white. What, we just do it anyway, or. Okay. Some evidence might be partially hidden. Find and circle the dirty, crumpled towel. On the cart to find what's hidden underneath. What did you circle this? Yes. Good job. Removing items is part of your job, so don't be afraid to open trash cans and move objects when you see something trapped underneath. The counter represents how many guesses it should take you to find all the evidence. Earn bonus points by discovering everything before the counter reaches zero. Continue searching for evidence by circling items of interest in the room. Good luck. I don't know. I feel like I'm gonna fuck up. Okay. Good, we got our cell phone. Okay. What's this? DNA. 
no book victim's id we saw the id right the id was uh by her by her there we go so zoom in clear rachel <coughs> trevino 27 years old lives at 600 east fifth street new york Over state east village if i remember right mm -hmm. so so there's notebook and dna oh shit okay i don't have Broken fingernail. She scratched them up pretty bad, I bet. It's some kind of debris under there. Better get a swab for DNA. Yeah. There's a notepad. Notebook, notepad. Is it hidden? Wait. Oh, I have some. <laughs> I can't tell what it, what each thing is. This is a bag, right? So this might be something in the bag. This could be Rachel's purse. It's not coach, but not cheap either. Someone was taking care of her bills. Oh, hello. Notebook. Bingo. Just a couple of notes. Wider media. What the hell does that mean? Am I meant to be taking notes? I wonder. Oh shit! I did it so good. She's got a couple of voicemails. Let me see. Yep. Sounds like she was meeting somebody here. Okay, pimp. this is evidence. Let's get back to the precinct and give it to CSU. <coughs> Why not just listen to him now? I better follow procedure on this one. Such a boy scout. Yeah, hey, you go by the code. this case, I finally get my murder merit badge. Come on, I'll drive. Ray. Morning, Lenny. Please tell me we got a new lead on the Central Park case. Oh, sure. If you count uh, nothing, not a bupkis. It's been six weeks. The murder weapon is probably at the bottom of the Hudson. I tell you what, I think we're stalled out, kid. I hate loose ends, Lenny. Tell me about it. At my age, I gotta tie him up as fast as I can. Ray Curtis, as I live and breathe, back in my precinct after all these years, what happened? Finally sick of all that California sunshine. My girls got worried if I wasn't solving murders, I might start committing them. You met <laughs> Detective Benson? I did. She's good. Definitely easier on the eyes than Lenny Briscoe. Yeah, but she's made of steel. Don't cross her, Ray. Wouldn't dream of it. Welcome back. Thanks. Thank you, thank you. Hey, she I seems friendly. take this down to CSU. What the hell? What's wrong? The voicemails, they're all gone. Someone deleted them all. And odds are, it wasn't our victim. Looks like her carrier is Mercury Wireless. Pete Shanahan, down in fraud, told me they've had some problems with security recently. Wait, 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 hold on. So they was able to delete the thing? But we didn't get a chance to read the, uh... Read, no, sorry, read. Listen to the, uh, voicemails. Oh, shit. Okay, GG. Mercury Wireless Company policy is pretty clear. I can talk to you up to a certain point, but if we go over, I have to involve corporate counsel. They've instructed me to answer your questions and give you access to any relevant data. Understood. Thanks for your time. I just realized that uh, my uh, thing wasn't right. Oh, this is quite embarrassing. Uh, tell, tell. Uh, law. Order. Is it legacy? Maybe? I think. Should have done this before, but. Sorry, guys. Platform is not on PS4, it's on PC. Yeah, that's quite embarrassing. Okay. Uh, any of these could be Red Helen, so who could have access? That seems decent. Annoying drop calls. That sounds like a Red Helen. Deleting voicemails. And. Could you know, someone like, delete voicemails off a of phone remotely? Sure, that's a feature we offer. How would they do it? Easy. You just need to have the account PIN number, just like your bank ATM. She couldn't. She'd be dead. She's dead. Why Curtis had the phone the entire time? She was already dead.
Correct, good job, Figures. Yeah, oh shit, I've done a good job, boys. Uh, Rachel Trevino was dead when the voicemails were deleted, making it impossible for her to delete them. We smell. Uh, annoying job calls, uh, I think. Who could have access? Who had access to Rachel Trevino's voicemails? Um, according to our account record, only Ms. Trevino. There's no one else listed here. The only other persons <coughs> with authorized access are myself, our customer representative team, and a few independent technical contractors. How am I supposed to know if he's lying? I think he's telling the truth. Hmm. What hard evidence can support his truthfulness? His proof things have been true. Told to be truthful. Oh my god, well, was it the first one? Answering a question incorrectly during an interview or integration will earn you a strike. If you get free strike to your phone investigation, we'll have to try again. What about illegal access? Hacking into the account? Hard to say, because that'd be illegal. Illegal access. We're going to need to check all activity on the phone over the weekend. This isn't Big Brother, despite what you might think. We do track calls, text messages, and data downloads, but not every single interaction. Really? You sure about that? Well, there are other records, but those are internal and restricted. I'm not authorized to show you those. I think he's out for us. Please, invest in a home so I can look at any material they wish. That is true, I think. Cancel all already authorized him to release all relevant records. Is either the first one or the third one? Please cut. I don't know. I still like the top one, no? Ah, oh, it's probably the third one. You said council already authorized you to show us any relevant records. How about yeah, it? It was the third one. <laughs> Shit. Uh, legal access. So if no one at Mercury did this, could someone have hacked into the account? We work very hard to maintain the integrity of our system. Classic pack. So no recent problems with break-ins or hacking? Our security is very good, no, Detective. That's not what we had earlier. Answer her question. No hacking at all. None. We've never had a single security breach. No. It was Anita, wasn't it? Oh, it wasn't the girl. Who was? Who said it then? Well, we didn't want this to go public, but yes, we are aware of some issues. <laughs> what Sorry, happened guys. exactly? Attacks on the customer data, pin numbers being stolen, that sort of thing. I'm so sorry, detectives. You know, the scope of this interview has exceeded my comfort level. I gotta call corporate counsel, and they're gonna tell me I can't talk to you anymore. Sorry. The witness is through talking bad. Trying to... Fuck! <laughs> Mercury if I fail again, I, I won't show this one. I can I'll talk to you skip up to right to the part where if we go over, I do it. I have to involve corporate counsel. They've instructed me to answer your questions and give you access to any relevant data. Understood. Thanks for your time. Okay. Clean Could myself. someone delete voicemails off a phone remotely? Sure. We should skip That's this. Is it possible to skip? Oh, no. That's, that's not the button. How would they do it? Oh, shit. It was... Easy. You just need to have the account. I right clicked it. Things I think that was skipped. Skipped. Could Rachel have to be the voice remotely? The answer was um, no, because she she did. I should have done it. Yeah. Who uh, had? So I'm just skipping this because this is my um, second try. The only attempt. other. P oh shit! Was he lying? Uh, let's see what the question was. The only person who authorized access on myself are customers. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Is he lying? No. Uh. This one, no? What? what? Was it the first one? I've forgotten. Yeah, okay. What about illegal access? Hackers. That would be illegal. Okay. Uh, let's do the so illegal access. So if no one at Mercury did this, could... 
We work very hard to meet. Oh, this is a security thing. Ah, uh, no. Because we know. So it wasn't Anita. It wasn't Ray. Who was it? I don't remember the names. Was it Lenny? Oh, fuck. <sighs> well, we didn't. What happened exactly? Attacks on the customer data. Pin number. Okay, so it wasn't Ray. I know Ray is me. We're going me. to need to check all activity on the phone over the Nita? weekend. This isn't Big Brother, despite what you might think. Well, there. Is it, yes, he is. Also. So it's uh, already authorized him to release all relevant records. Wait. There are other records, but those internal records are not. This one there. There we go. You said council already authorized you to show us any relevant records. How about it, Mr. Gray? Yeah, cough it up, Gray. Oh my gosh, just one question. Restricted Let's records. have a look at those restricted records, Mr. Gray. We prefer not to share those personal customer records. It can project a negative corporate image. It would be a complete <clears throat> invasion of our customers' privacy. You guys need a warrant. Challenge on this? Yes, why not? Yeah. How do you legally convince him? Not friends. <laughs> Please switch me. Right, guys, I can friends to get legal warrant and expose secret data being kept. Yeah, it's the last one. That sounds the most uh, professional thing to do. How about we go get that warrant? Then we can search your restricted records and it all goes public at trial. How do you think your customers will like finding out you kept secret information about them? Oh my god. Uh, all right. All right. I'll look it up. We're conducting a murder investigation, Mr. Gray. We need to know what happened to those voicemails, and we need to know now. Sure, we can go get a warrant if that makes you feel better. But by that time, more of your customers might end up dead, like Rachel Trevino. That makes for a very negative corporate image. All right. Yes, There's son. no record of who exactly deleted the voicemails, but honestly, someone modified her account about two weeks ago. Who? This is embarrassing, but it was one of her own contractors. He's a bit of a hacker. He could have accessed her information. He did not have company permission to do this. But why? He's a strange guy, detective. Very intense. His name is Tom Newberry. Here's his contact number. I thought her she'd be writing names one down thing, and stuff. You might not want to call from your precinct. Oh, why not? Tom knows how to crack caller ID. He always knows who's calling and from where. Thanks for the tip. Okay, okay. Excellent work. I'm not sure that was excellent. It was my it was take two. <laughs> Weird place for an interview, Curtis. Witness requested we meet here. He thinks it's all a big game. I get the impression he's young. His mom answered the phone when I first called. Oh, shit. Speaking of games, good cop or bad cop? Bad cop, definitely. Suits me. That's some kid. Call me anonymous. We already have your name and phone <laughs> number, dumbass. <laughs> uh, topics. Play good cop. Would that be Red Herring, though? I want to get his, you know, be, be perceived as trustworthy and that he can open up to me. We talked to some people at Mercury Telstar. You have a reputation there. People said you're good. Too good, maybe. We thought you might have done something illegal, but they said their security is way too tough for you to crack. <laughs> Please, I wrote their security. The firewalls, the protocol encryption, it's all me, detective. So, you could crack a voicemail account? Stupid easy. What about deleting voicemails? In my sleep, detective. And what did Mercury Telstar think of that? Uh... <laughs> uh, do we need to know his whereabouts? Uh, we can talk about that last. Let's get this other information first, I guess. <clears throat> What's FTP? Why would your old company accuse you of hacking? Mercury Telstar hates me. They'll accuse me of anything. I'm a rogue anarchist activist. Those accounts are my playground. And you hacked Rachel Trevino's. 
I don't know. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no, no. Why, why are you asking? Your old company seems to think you did, and you apparently possess the skills. No, I don't. I, l look, I, well, for instance, I couldn't have gotten through their firewall, right? No way. The protocol encryption alone is just way beyond my skill. He said he could do all that stuff. <clears throat> and he wrote it. Tom say he wrote the FTP. You're lying, Twerp. Totally not lying, Detective. Remember how you were bragging on how you wrote the security? Oh. <laughs> right. That gives you means. Now we just need motive and opportunity. Hey, wait a second. You didn't Mirandize me. I know my rights. Oh, Tom. This is just an interview, not an arrest. So sorry. Miranda doesn't apply. Anarchy. So... Why would a nice guy like you want to delete voicemails? Maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. Curtis, can I tase this guy? <laughs> Tom, I think you're starting to irritate my partner. You like games, Tom? <clears throat> Let's play a game. Talk about bad cop, you know? Detective Benson likes you for a murder. I throw you in jail, and you try to survive as long as you can against the drug addicts and the gang members who live there. You can post the results on your blog. I can picture the Facebook update now. I... I just okay, okay. There was another reason. Okay, let's say that reason though. That reason. What is this another reason? Well, I was paid to access the account, of course. By who? I, I don't want to say. You better say. Or do we need to call your mom and tell her you're running a hacking ring out of her basement? Oh, Jesus, no. Look, don't get her involved. That woman has enough problems. These people are powerful. Names. We need names. I don't know their names. But you know they're powerful? How what the that heck work? is this old thing? We only did business over the phone. They had their caller ID blocked, so I, you know, I, I never knew their names. ID block. No, he can un he can encrypt them, right? That's what the other guy said. Don't know his name. Gray. That's it. Gray. Had crack call out of you would call out his real name. Tom is a weasel, no, 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 and that's like this one here. Yeah, I'm getting the hang of this now. I'm paying attention. <laughs> You're a terrible liar, Tom. Your old boss told us you know how to crack caller ID codes. You know those names. And you're gonna tell us one way or another. Oh. She's gonna break him. Uh he might not even know who the fuck Rachel is. Alibi FT FTP. So, Tom, how many uh, FTPs do you have? Where'd you learn that word? You're using that word wrong. FTPs. Do you have them? Someone taught you a computer word and you're using oh, it. Oh, that's a red herring then. Just stop. Right, that's a red herring. <laughs> Hi, Rachel. Did you know Rachel Trevino? She mentioned your name on her blog. She did? Oh my god, really? What'd she say about me? Does she like me? Does she want to meet? You sure you didn't know her? Or want to know her? I mean, you're smart, Tom. All you had to do was hack in, learn her secrets, get close. No, 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 it's not like that. But she still wouldn't have you. It drove you crazy. And then, things just got out of control. It's not your fault, am I right? Wait, what's not my fault? What are you talking about? Look, you gotta believe me. I didn't know this girl. I don't know any girls. <sighs> I kind of believe him for once. I'm gonna believe him for once. Tom, no, that was a lie. Tom, no, he would never kill another. I guess the girl at some point spoke to push Tom on Monday night. She didn't want to tell me he's happy he was genuine and he spoke out. Yeah, he was like, "Is she still alive?" What you say about me and stuff like that? Yeah, I'm, I'm on the roll, boys. I'm on the roll. It's okay, Tom. I believe you. We believe you. Calm down. Rachel was killed the other night. I just had to make sure you weren't playing us. Where were you Saturday night? Everywhere. 
Tom, we can go downtown right now if that's how you want to play it. <laughs> Sorry, I was online on a raid. Anyone corroborate this? What of Warcraft? Been 20 warriors in my guild. Let me rephrase. Did anyone real see you? Yeah. My mom. I live with her. She was there the whole time. A plausible alibi. Uh, can you use family? I don't know the law. I'm sure you could use family members to testify that you're there. I, I don't know. Because at the end of the day, when you're in court, you're you're under oath, right? Even if it's family member, you're not supposed to lie. And he does live with his mum, because you know, he was saying how she's a handful and she's going through a lot of shit going on right now. Yeah. Uh, what makes the alibi plausible? The mother would never lie to protect her son. Benson say that she knew Tom Mothers from a previous case. The cliff already know Tom is his mom. Tom doesn't seem like a terrorist. Yeah, he knows because he was saying that how his mom has some, a lot of a lot on her plate already. Yeah, I talked to your mom on the phone already. She know you're out this late. He did. Hilarious. You know what? Okay, Playtime I guess I wasn't paying over. attention to. You better start coughing up solid answers, or I'm throwing you in Rikers, and your mom will have to spend. Her oh yeah, he did call his mom. Your bail. Okay, okay, okay. But listen, I only right have the, the accounts to sell the voicemail passwords. <laughs> passwords? Plural? Yeah, I did a lot of them. Celebrities, politicians, you name it. Then I sold the passwords to this lady named Gwendolyn Scott. She's like a PR flack. Did she ask you to mess with Rachel's account? Yeah, I figured it was corporate espionage or something. You know, what do I care? Let the capitalist pigs brawl in the mud. Who's it gonna hurt? Rachel Trevino. Have a great night, Deep Throat. Yeah, so he did take his mom because that's how he knew he was a little kid because uh, his mom picked up the phone. Makes sense. I remember now, I remember now. I'm not sure it was good to find a red herring or not. We're going to start by what we call oh, defining your moment. Gwendolyn Scott? Yes. Miss Scott, I'm hello. I'm Detective Ray Curtis. This is Detective Benson. We need to talk to you for a minute. And I'm so Detective sorry. Pack here. I'm busy. Just on the other side. Detective it's Pack. Important. My client is important. You can call my office. You know, a guy named Tom Newberry just gave me this girl's number. PR flag. She likes to buy voicemail passwords and blackmail her clients. Maybe I'll call her instead. <laughs> Busted. Got him. <laughs> Five minutes. Was that fun, Detective? Yeah, actually it was, yeah. I like to play rough. I thought it was quite fun. So do I. But a little charm can go a long way. Oh, a bit of charm, be charming, but if you're forceful, let's be charming, let's be charming. Sorry, I promise this will only take a moment of your time. You're a busy girl. Thanks, I appreciate it. And I promise I won't make up extra questions as an excuse to talk to you longer. Alright, Romeo, settle down. Ooh, Ask away. Oh, Romeo. Let's <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's go, sorry. Tom Newberry. I don't care about Do you know Tom Newberry? Tom Newberry? No. Well, Tom claims that she does, so... How do you know for sure? Tom Newby already said she knew him and paid him for passwords. That, that's what he said. Said that he's seen her name specifically. No, he never said that, I don't think. Earlier to paint Tom. Nope, it's because I'm going to jail. Top one. <clears throat> he says he knows you. That's how we got your name. A lot of people know me. Do a lot of people call you? Not the right people. Ooh. Am I the right person? Am I one of those right people? Uh, phone call. So if I look up your phone records and Tom Newberry called you, and you talked to him more than once, now, would I be crazy to think you're lying to me? I'd say you were just jealous. <laughs> Do you feel like she's covering? No, it's not really. Uh, why do you base these feelings on people and populations? Can I be trusted? Nope. Once say that, she has yet to answer a single question truthfully. That's 
could be. She's getting angry, that's a sign of guilt. Tom knew. Oh shit. Did Tom say anything? Well, okay, so he never said anything like that. So it's not that one. It's not that one. The second or third one. I don't think he's angry. Yeah. I'm not the jealous type, Miss Scott, and I don't like playing games. You knew him. Fine. Yes, we did business. I paid him for insider information. Payment. You paid Tom for what exactly? Passwords. I paid Tom for access to voicemail accounts. So you could delete Rachel Trevino's voicemails? Look, I really shouldn't say. Did you want to keep her quiet? Miss Scott, were you involved in her murder? No, no, I did delete Rachel's voicemails, yes, but I did it for someone else. On someone else's orders. Understand? It's possible. It's possible. It's possible. I'm gonna believe her. Give her the benefit of that this time. Uh, Tom has confirmed that she paid for access to the account he never personally deleted. That's true. It's her statements must be true because it makes her look good. No. James Gray confirmed that Tom is doing for Juna. I don't think he did say that. Her statement is true because she's attracted to Curtis and he's trying to. <laughs> Some of these are so funny. <laughs> Alright, I'm listening. Why don't you tell me a little more? Was someone else involved? Who asked you to delete the voicemails? A client. I really can't tell you. Yeah, here I'm gonna find out. Volume here. spike. I'm actually pretty good at this detective. From time to time. It's quite well, annoying. Crap. I guess it's all over for me anyway. Here's the deal. I gave Rachel's password and voicemails to my usual buyer, Alexander Baron. Alexander Baron, as in CEO of Wider Media, the Russian guy who owns like half the television stations in America. The very same. Baron bought Rachel's voicemail access for me a few weeks ago, and then told me to delete them all. Yeah, I think so. It's possible. I don't see why she wouldn't lie. Uh, why the video was on Rachel's notebook, was it? Ah, uh, oh, shit. Okay. Let's go back all the way from the beginning. Uh, Transcript. There's a couple of notes of why the mirror. Are. Okay, that's on them. It's definitely on the book. Let's see, James. Does he say anything about why the mirror? Nah, okay. That's on the notebook. Uh, <clears throat> I wonder who's the other two persons, the one in the middle and the far right. Rachel wrote that in her day planner. It didn't click until now. Does the name Rachel Trevino mean anything to you? I'm sure it does now. No, should it? We she just spoke about night. Rachel. What the fuck? What's she lying for? <laughs> oh, poor girl. A bit of a different order. Isn't but, tough okay. enough for housekeeping. Is there something wrong with just what she said? Wait, what did she just say? Was, Poor girl, as if life isn't tough enough for housekeeping. There's also she knows about Rachel, though. So, that, of course, it should mean something. How does she know that she's a housekeeper? Why does she know? How does she know about life as a housekeeper? How does she know Rachel's name? How does she know it was with housekeeping? That's the one. You claim you don't know her, but you know she's. I didn't say anything about her being with housekeeping. 
I must have read it in the paper. Nothing's been released to the papers yet. It must have been gossip. You know how these things get around, detective. <laughs> <clears throat> Newberry already told us you knew her. Oh, that, Rachel. Of course. My mistake. I can be such an airhead. Miss Scott, why was Alexander Baran interested in Rachel Trevino? She's a maid. He's a Russian billionaire. I, I don't get it. Rachel Trevino was not a hotel maid. She was an activist, a blogger. And she had uncovered some dirty, dirty secrets about Alexander Baran. He's a very bad boy detective. What did she find out? Baron has a problem keeping it in his pants, especially when it comes to housekeeping staff. We've had to cover up a few unsavory encounters. Uh -huh. Rachel tried to set up a sting going undercover at the hotel, and I honestly don't know what happened after that. that on him. I think she got in over her head. Did Baron kill her? And this is where my lawyer would advise me to keep my mouth shut. Come on, Gwen. Oh, now it's Gwen. I like that. Okay, look. All I'm gonna say is, the Parkview Regency Hotel has a front desk, right? Ask them who stayed there on Saturday. Yeah, we're doing, we're doing good now, we're doing good now. I say that, we're probably gonna fuck up. That was Cormac at the precinct. Alexander Baron was a guest at Parkview Regency the night Rachel was killed. He checked out earlier today, and he's on his way to MacArthur Airport. He's got a private jet and of course he would. appointment in London. A oh, poke well, he's gonna be late. My city. London town. <coughs> in London Mr. Heathrow. Baron. Mr. Baron, Detective Curtis, NYPD. We need to talk to you about the murder of a hotel maid over the weekend. A maid? Are you serious? I'm leaving for London. London. Look like about oh, an shit, inch that and came. to you, Ray. It checks on sure that. does. Mr. Alexander Baran, you are under arrest for the murder of Rachel Trevino. You have the right to remain silent. Aw, oh, shit. Interrogation room, let's interrogate this motherfucker! Fuck him! Yeah, suka bleh. I don't know why we're wasting time here. I'm a Russian. I have diplomatic immunity. We did a little research on you, Mr. Braun. Rachel's blog was a very interesting read. Maids? Waitresses? Executives at your own company? Is there any woman you wouldn't hit on? Your mom? Miss oh, Benson, shit. I am a handsome, virile man. I radiate power. Women are attracted to it despite themselves. Is that true, girl? Here's a clue. When a woman is attracted to you, she does not slap you with a sexual harassment lawsuit. You've had 12. Damn. I'm a flirt. I get <laughs> slapped with all sorts of things. <laughs> It's kind of funny. <laughs> uh, let's start from the top, I guess. Did you know Rachel Trevino? No. We have DNA evidence that says you did. What kind of evidence? A rape kit. <laughs> you don't know what you're talking about. It was completely consensual. So you do know her? You cops think you have it all figured out. Guess what? We were lovers. Oh la la, of course he's lying about Rachel. Come on now. Let me guess they were lovers, but she forgot to say the safety word, Kappa. Who stated that Rachel had no boyfriend? Oh, it was the hotel, yeah? <coughs> I think it was the hotel. Teresa. Uh, you Colombian, you know, I get hungry, remember, and you know, she was pretty, so I don't know. There's lots of old business ones. I guess that's uh, that's one of them. That's Batra. Uh She didn't even have a boyfriend. Okay, so it was uh, the hotel maid, Teresa. I'm not buying it. Sorry, Charlie. An earlier witness already told us Rachel didn't have a boyfriend, and you lied about knowing her just now. That's two strikes. A jury might see it different. When I left the room, that girl was alive. Uh, you had access to Rachel's voicemails, voicemails, and you destroyed them to cover up your connection. Not true. I never touched the voicemails. 
He never touched the voicemails, but uh, Gwen Scott did, if you think about it. So technically, what he's saying isn't... I mean, technically he had access, right? Because he knew the pin and shit. And he destroyed them to cover up your connection. So he did, indirectly, yes, directly, no. But is this a true statement? I'm following the game sense, I guess, like, the answer is no, but technically. Uh, indirectly, he did tamper with it, he did delete it, but not directly. Oh my god. Rachel knew all about you. Okay, I'm she trying to shit gathering evidence about you, <laughs> about shit. unreported assaults. I wouldn't know anything about that. I never even heard these voicemails you're so very concerned about. Uh, I'm not sure about these two. These two seems like red herons. That one's probably is. That one is. Old laws. Actually, I don't know. It's about sexual harassment, right? So I don't know. I'll leave that one to the last. That one seems like a red heron. You didn't come forward when you heard about the murder. I had no reason to. A maid is killed. How is this my business? She was your girlfriend. Ah, but you say she is not detective. Seems like you were trying to avoid this investigation. No. I had every intention of cooperation. In fact, when you found me, I was on my way to see my lawyer. Uh-huh. In your jet. He's on vacation in Florida. He's lying. He's gone to London. My city. London town. Oh, so he's leaving for London. You said you were headed to London. It's just a hop, skip, and a jump to Moscow from there. And then, you'd be out of our reach. Your knowledge of geography is so American. <laughs> uh, alternate theory. I don't know about that one. You know, know, killing the witness to a crime gets you an automatic upgrade to murder one. What crimes? What witness? Rachel had evidence on you, Baron. She knew what you were up to. She wasn't a witness to anything. Those voicemails were about an expose. A plan to blackmail me. Does this prove his innocence? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. No. But why? You're lying, and we can prove it. How can you prove he's lying? Rich with the clear on the vlog that she's just like, is this some moving bones? Like a target for blackmail because of his wealth. Byron couldn't know what was in the voicemails unless he heard them, which he denied doing earlier. Those voicemails were about an expose. They planned to blackmail me. But how did he know if he said he never heard it? Yeah. That's a contradiction there. You it just told Phoenix Wright we heard those Take that! So there's no way you could know what they were about. You heard them and you know it. You're looking better and better for this murder with every lie that comes out of your filthy mouth. Uh, blackmail plot. You mentioned blackmail. Are you being blackmailed? Why, yes. Why aren't you investigating the criminals behind this whole operation? Who? I'm very certain it's the Russian mob. I won't share my money with them, which they did not earn. So they want me embarrassed and disgraced. I wouldn't cough up a ruble for those thugs. That's enough from you. Let's get back to the murder. Oh fuck the red heron. Ah, uh, old school system. You've had twelve lawsuits. Yes, what of it? They were all resolved. I'm just impressed. I mean, you got to be some kind of gentleman to cause that much noise. <clears throat> I appreciate your sarcasm, but I'm not allowed to discuss the details of my settlements. Oh my gosh, how many how many red herons am I finding? So let's say. Maybe this girl, Rachel, maybe she liked it a little rough. And you obliged. Consenting adults, right? Sure, completely consenting. And the cane could have been involved. Could have been. Tell me how the cane fits into this scenario. 
Was it an accident? I'm sure it must have been. Did she ask you to use it? Yes, she asked me to do it. It was her idea. She liked that kind of thing, I guess. <laughs> like I said, it was all consensual. This girl was kinky. She saw my cane. She wanted to try it. She was an adult. So you admit it? No. No. I guess it is kind of evidence. Yeah. The neck, the neck uh, marks. Bruised marks on Richard's neck. The cane was carrying and widely media in Richard. That's some evidence. The southern flight to London. The cane he was carrying. Shift the weekend. The bruise marks on her. The cane he was carrying and the DNA evidence. Oh. Yeah, I think it's the first one, right? I don't think there was any DNA. That mock but Oh shit, is it the DNA one? You better wipe that smug smile off your face before you get to Rikers. Miss Benson, I'm innocent of this offensive charge. My lawyers will have this <coughs> all thrown out, and my country will protect me. Really? We can place you at the murder scene. We can connect you to the victim and her voicemails. And your cane is a match for the murder weapon. Now might be a good time to panic. That's a hell of a lot of evidence to throw out. That's why I have a hell of a lot of lawyers. Don't worry, I'll be out in a few days. Then maybe I'll call you, baby. <laughs> it's not my time. Come on, man. let's go get a bite. Well played, Baron. He can stew in his own ick for a while. <laughs> Well played, son. Ah, uh, just made it. Continue, yeah, whatever.